followed me one night across the town. Oh. So lonely and alone. Once again, you figured out who he was. Ooh, yep, Tobias knows. Yo, Becky's too fast. Yeah. He's an amateur. He thinks he's a great killer, but he's just an amateur. He's not Hannibal. Thinks like I do. I can see the world and the people in the way I do. I know it's sad, Billy. But I don't want to be a friend. Reject you. So why did you invite me here with him? To kill you. Is it just a breeze turning an obstacle? Not to kill you. going to kill you? Yep. I think it poisoned me by us over two times before. Yeah, that's a good point. I was just going to say maybe he poisoned him, but he wouldn't do that. Who is that guy? Bloom or Franklin? No. Or Will? Just a lot of Bloom. Oh gosh, it's Will. Okay. Well. <laughs> this is about to be interesting. Oh, time. look at him. We'll smile at that. The patient told me today he suspects a friend of his may be involved with the murder episode. Yeah, yeah, that is completely breaking confidentiality. Specializing in string instruments. Perhaps you should interview him. He's setting up the bias. But I'm not interested in being his friend. I'm curious about him. And that got me curious about friendship. Interesting. Not just Tobias, he's interested in Will. Oddly enough, a colleague and a patient, the vocal cords chemically treated are similar to how catgut string is treated. Kept those details out of the press. Ooh. Caught him. for someone who knows how to manufacture gut strings. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Something wrong? He, did, did he just imagine hearing someone get hit by a car? Tobias is really not good at this. If even one of them survives, he's done. So he has to go on the run or get caught. If they all die, people know they went there. They're gonna find out. Stop shaking, Wolf. Calm down. We've got this. Oh, oh, poor man. Hey, well, turn around. Turn around, Will. Will. Ah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Oh, come. Oh, Will. Yeah. It, cool, breathe, Will, and continue. You got this. Nine times. I can count on two hands the number of times I've been dumped by a psychiatrist. I'm sorry, Frank. Damn, nine times? times? Okay. That's the point where it's not the psychiatrist's fault when it's more you, you Franklin. I'm also part of the problem. Or twice for what? Shit. I came to say goodbye for you. There's nothing you can do to change that. The only thing you can change is hey, your future. Franklin, step back from him. Right. Stop getting closer. I'm not alone. That's right, you're not alone. Nothing okay. has happened in Step our away, Franklin. Something bad about that. Oh! Shit! Okay! What? I know you don't like Franklin, but Lord! Really trying to take on Hannibal. This isn't gonna work well for you, Tobias. This is a serial killer fight off. I love it. I never thought I'd be getting this. Come on, Hannibal. You got this. Can't believe I'm rooting for Hannibal right now. Oh. Ooh. 
Ooh. Come on, hand. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, you need Will to come in. Shit. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Oh, that was sweet, though. Good move. You won this now, Hannibal. Ooh, right in the throat. Damn. Really, he's trying not to get his fingerprints on it? I think it's going to be pretty obvious he did it. Ooh. Did he say it fell? How is he going to explain this? I, I guess it's pretty easy. He came to kill Franklin. Franklin, he killed Franklin, I guess. Then he defended himself. He's happy to see Will and that he's alive. I was worried you were dead. I thought this was a simple matter of poor choice and friends. This doesn't feel so. It's not. It's way more complicated. At least Frank knows that. There's something else going on. So he tipped over that thing, I guess, just to make it look like he wasn't like he like Tobias was down, and then he hit him. And it was self defense. Well, it's good you stepped away. How long has it been? Even if it was only for a few days. Oh, it was only a few days. I thought they'd have to say weeks or something or months. When you were attacked by your patient. Yes. But I don't take responsibility for his death. Oh, so she killed the patient that attacked her too. Oh, this was a really good episode. Uh, yeah. Like, wow, so much happened. First of all, I was surprised that Tobias kind of became a bigger deal. I was a little, when we first met him, I was a little like, okay, he's just like staring and kind of creepy, but I had no, no thought in my mind came to that he was going to be a killer for all. And we see right in the beginning, like they don't even try to hide it. He's a killer. He kills people and makes them into the strings for his instruments. Creepy. Very cool. And this episode, Will is hearing noises, which still don't know what's going on there. It sounds like howling. He, but then it, the stuff in the fire in the what's it called chimney chimney. The thing in the chimney sounded like a raccoon, but the stuff he heard out in the city and then in, like, the field sounded more like a wolf. I don't know. And it kind of sounded like a woman getting hit by a car at first when he was in Tobias' store. That was really weird. Well, it's definitely seen and hearing more things now. So it's losing a little bit more. And then we have a lot of Franklin this episode, and, well, Franklin's dead now, so I'm fine with that, honestly. He was weird and annoying, and so, bye. And so we learn this this murder that happens where this person puts an instrument down the guy's throat and like uses the vocal cords to play. So creepy. It's so inventive. The the way this show comes up with murders and the type of murders, it's fascinating. I absolutely love it. It they do so well. It's it's amazing. Like, I've seen a lot of cop shows. This is the most innovative one I've ever seen. It's crazy good. Okay, and then we also get Jillian Anderson back this episode. I love her. I do not know her name yet. I don't know if they've said it. I feel like they haven't. If they have, let me know. If they haven't, don't yet. Um, She's great, though. I love the, the therapist of the therapist and how she seems to... So she's killed a patient, it sounds like. A patient attacked her that was obsessed with her, and she ended up killing him when he attacked. He or she, don't know. But, so she's kind of similar. I don't, so, I don't know. Hannibal's kind of, it seems like he's kind of intrigued by her. And I'm intrigued by her, so we'll see what goes on with that. And then we had a lot of Tobias and Hannibal. They had that little, like, 
meeting at first that was very kind of speaking in innuendos and it seemed that Tobias had told Franklin stuff making thinking basically that Franklin was going to go to Hannibal and tell him so that Hannibal would come to him kind of sending a message which was really interesting and he ended up going to Hannibal's for dinner and honestly I agree with him. at first I saw the similarities between Hannibal and Tobias by halfway through the episode I was like no they are two very completely different people, killers. They are nothing alike. The only thing similar that they do is kill. That is it. Tobias is reckless. He's stupid. He's an amateur. He's like, his whole thing, he was telling Hannibal, was like, oh, uh, I don't mind them cops looking for me. They're going to find me and then I'll just kill them. I'm like, what kind of plan is that? The cops find you, you kill them, and then what? They're going to send more cops. You're going to kill all those, and then they're going to send more, and then you're going to kill those. What kind of stupid plan is that, Lord? The bias was, like, he was so egotistical. He was like, I'm good at this. He's, he just, he seemed like he thought he was, like, the best and that Hannibal was, like, just like him. I'm like, no, Hannibal is levels above him. And I can't believe right now I am defending and supporting the other serial killer, Hannibal Lecter, the cannibalist. But if I've got two sides on a killer versus killer, I'm choosing to be Hannibal all the time because... He's got, he knows what he's doing. He's got practice. He's got loads of experience. He's killed so many people. And he's so smart. Uh, in this episode, we also got Will and Bloom. It, that's complicated. I really wanted to see them hook up, just because I love Will and I want him to be happy. But Dr. Bloom was right. It, it, it's smarter. It's the better thing to do that. She didn't continue any farther. It would be too complicated. Even Hannibal agreed. It would have been too much. But I also think Hannibal just doesn't want Will to be with anyone but him. So. And. We have the Will and Hannibal friendship. And how Hannibal was talking to Julian Anderson. His therapist. Julian Anderson's character. About how he was interested in Tobias but not in a way that he wanted to be friends with him. He was more interested because he was similar to him, I think, because he had similar hobbies and everything. But that made him think about friendship, and it made him think about Will and the friendship with Will, which is really interesting. He really, he's really intrigued by Will. He really wants to be close to him and friends. I, I love seeing it. It's interesting. And then, of course, I've got to discuss um, Tobias versus Will, which is when Will sees that the cop was killed and when Jace that little attack thing. That was that was a rough fight. No one did well there, honestly. No one did well. But then right after that we got Tobias versus Hannibal. That was amazing. First of all, Tobias was kinda weird with that string stuff. But he was a surprisingly good fighter. Give him credit I gotta give him credit with credits too. He held his own and he actually put Hannibal back a bit. Like Hannibal had to fight. He, he, this wasn't easy for him. He didn't make it easy, which, good for him. But, of course, Hannibal won in the end. My thing is that, so, he, I love when he broke Tobias' arm and then basically knocked Tobias out with the throat and knocked him out. He was done with. And so he wanted to kill Tobias instead of just letting him pass out. So he was going to, he smashed his head in with the deer thing. And then he knocked down the stand, so it looked like it was like he was attacked and he had to quickly do it. And it wasn't like Tobias was down and then he grabbed it then killed him because that would be unnecessary murder. But he grabbed it with his handkerchief and grabbed it so no fingerprints were on it. Why would he do that? Because then how do they think, how would they think the statue hit him in the head? It fell? Do they think it's just like Tobias got knocked out, and then the statue just fell and hit him in the head. No. That's weird. I feel like that's going to come back to be discussed. Because there's no way they would just show us him using the handkerchief to move the statue and kill him if it wasn't going to be... I feel like it's going to be talked about. Hopefully it will, because that intrigues me. Okay. Very good episode, though. Fantastic. Absolutely great. One of my favorites so far. I can't wait to watch the next one, you guys. And as always, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. You know what to do with the subscribe button down below. And that notification bell, press it, you know. 
Okay, thank you guys for watching so much. Comment, let me know what you thought about this episode. Don't spoil anything, of course, but let me know what you think. Agree with something I said or disagreed. We can discuss. Okay, thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.